Millennia, the goddess of rot, is easily the most rage-inducing boss in the game. Luckily for you, I fought this evil demon for hours, and eventually I found the perfect technique. Don't worry, I'm not using the Rivers of Blood Katana or a plus 10 level Mimic tier. Nah, throughout the fight, I'll show y'all how to dodge and counter all her attacks, plus how to best exploit her weaknesses. Before we jump in the fight, I'll quickly give you some important tips that you need to know. Firstly, Millennia is susceptible to frost and bleed effects. Also, she has a resistance to every single damage type besides one. That's right, fire, baby. But her one true weakness is her low poise. She is easily staggered and vulnerable to knockdowns. So now, let's jump into the fight. At first, I tried the Malekith Black Blade, and yo, not only did it do wild damage, but its unique skill sent her flying across the room. But in the end, I found that successive attacks are the way to go. You can just stagger this bitch into infinity. Like, for real, just, just look at this. So for me, the Magma Blade is perfect against Melania, because it's all fire, which remember she has no resistance to, and its unique skill, Magma Throw, transforms you into a stagger maniac, dealing high damage, breaking her stance, clapping her cheeks. Once you're in the fight, you'll start to realize some attacks make her hand turn golden and shine for a moment. These are critical attacks. They hit hard, but they're easy to dodge. And these are perfect to punish. You can be aggressive in this fight, but just don't get greedy. Be patient with the right time to strike. That's what this fight is all about. So now in my right hand, I got a frost weapon with Bloodhound Step. This way throughout the fight, I can quickly swap over and safely dodge away. Don't worry, I'll give you some tips on that nightmare she calls the Waterfowl Dance. So if you're far enough away at the moment, just run. Just run for your freaking life, man. And then when she gets close enough, dodge forward into her. Wait a moment between attacks, then dodge forward into her again. Always roll towards her, through her attacks. He's gotta juke her out, man. You know, like juke her out, break her ankles, but don't dodge backwards, cause you will regret it. Now to start off the second round, wait for her to drop, then boom, dodge away, get to a safe distance, and spam all the spells you want. Dragon Ice will usually do a good chunk of damage here. There are some very important changes about the second phase you should know. First of all, she now has no poise. Because she dropped her armor, she literally has zero poise. Basically, she traded defense for extra speed, so any and all attacks will stagger her. But not if she has already committed to an attack animation. Sometimes she can't be interrupted, so do not spam the attack button or she will clap you. Now more than ever, you must choose when to attack wisely. Go and watch those dudes with solo kill and no damage kill videos. You'll realize they only attack when it's the perfect time to punish her. For example, like right here, I got a few good hits off, should have backed away, but I didn't. I was greedy and therefore got kicked in the face. There are times to be patient and other times to be aggressive and go for the kill. If you have any thoughts or any questions on the build, please leave a comment down below.